Good afternoon, guys. It is about 4.05 p.m. Today I'm going to do a dip review on my favorite Red Seal Wintergreen. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little backstory of how I got started dipping. So, uh, it, uh, Red Seal's been in the family for, I think, at least three generations. My grandpa did it. My dad did it. My un uh, All three of my uncles do it on my dad's side. My, uh, I know at least a one uncle on my mom's side that does it. But, uh, I've been doing dip for a while. I think my first dip was when I was 12. I didn't really get a buzz, but then, uh, I was doing, I think my first dip was Copenhagen Wintergreen. And then I went to try Grizzly, and that's when I got my first buzz. And I don't do Grizzly anymore because it hurts to do it, but, uh, it's all right. Now they're 100% American now. Back then they were like 70% American, 30% foreign. My uh, my great grandma on my mom's side, uh, Marie, the one that's still living, she's only 83. She uh, she does that uh, Levi Garrett uh, Scotch snuff where it looks like that red dirt and stuff like that. And right now she does grizzly straight pouches and stuff like that. And uh, Levi Garrett chew and red man chew. She was smoking until my mom was born in 81. That's whenever she went back to dipping. And even though it's been 39 years later, she still is addicted to cigarettes somehow. That proves to you how addictive cigarettes can get. I think she started when she was like five, so like 1941, so 40 years of smoking, yeah. Now she wasn't like my Grandpa and his brother, my great grandpa and his brother smoking three or four cigarettes a day. She would usually probably smoke maybe one a day. Sometimes she'd skip a day. She wasn't that, that bad. But she still got addicted to them. But uh, I first started, like I said, when I was 12. But uh, like whenever I've watched my grandmother and my uncles, my dad do it, I'd get some sugar and I'd put it in there and I'd sit there and spit it out like I was a cowboy or something like that and like it and you know that's just how my dipping place got started was i started putting sugar in my mouth and i was like four or five years old and i thought it was cool but uh yeah and ever since then i mean red steel wintergreen and copenhagen have been my favorites um stokers is nice stokers you get a bigger pinch out of it it's more more, it sticks more together and the flavor lasts a little bit longer grizzly i don't really like much anymore the flavor doesn't last and it causes my mouth to hurt a little bit more the reason why i like red seal is because it's in a bigger can 25 percent more u.s tobacco and it's 100 percent and uh you know i've just enjoyed red seal ever since i first tried it when i was i think 15 16 it's about two years ago or so two maybe three uh red seal's been one of my favorites I, I like it a lot um copenhagen's also nice i like copenhagen mint when you need uh something in your mouth and you like ate some onions or something that's nice not to have but uh yeah i'm basically my whole dipping story started when i was about four but i didn't actually start putting dip in until i was about 12 and uh yeah that's about how it started and now i've been using it every day of my life haven't had any problems with it um i did snuff one time i've done snuff a couple times i did a uh, full can of copenhagen snuff challenge like outlaw did Oh, about a year ago. And that was two Snapchat account, accounts ago. So I got new phones and stuff like that. But, uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it does really good for me. I haven't had really problems, any problems with it. I keep losing my red seal can sometimes. So when I get a red seal can, I really, really make sure I watch it because the past two times I've had it, it's gone away. If you hear that construction noise, my grandpa's doing something in the back. 
I'm out here on the side of the yard. See, here's the house. There's a the dog. And, uh, it's not as hot as today as it was yesterday. I mean, shit, it was like 92 yesterday. Now it's like 85, 84 with the wind blowing. Pretty nice. I did wish we had a little bit more rain. I mean, our road is still a little bit muddy. Especially, uh, down there at those trees down there. But, uh, yeah, that's about how all my dipping got started was when I was six. And, uh, I've just been using, I've been dipping basically full time since I was 14. I mean, that was pretty cool. Started doing Grizzly. Like I said, it kind of affected me that I went to Copenhagen and I thought, oh my God, this is so beautiful. Then I tried Redstone and I'm like, it's even better. But yeah, I haven't tried Kodiak. I think the only four brands I've tried was Skull. I've done Skull, Stokers, Copenhagen Red Seal, and Grizzly. I think that's the only five I've done besides the Levi Garrett Chew and the Red Man Chew. It's been, it's been pretty good. Uh, Grizzly Straight actually is pretty decent. Um, the flavor lasts a lot longer than the regular ones, but uh, I don't know what it is. Ever since they switched to U.S., they've been sticking more a lot. Flavors have been sticking around more. But uh, anyway, I'm going to end this video right here, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and like, comment, and uh, let me know what you're dipping on. Peace out.